Hey guys, Rigo here with the Noobs, and in this video I've got a super quick guide on how to access the Unstable Red Rift in COD Modern Warfare Zombies, what to expect when you get there, and what you can unlock. So let's get straight into it. So the Unstable Rift isn't too hard to unlock, but do bear in mind that when carrying out the initial steps, once you spawn the Unstable Rift, another team can steal it, even if they didn't do all of the hard work, but we'll come to that later. So there are multiple obelisks around the map. Now the annoying thing is that they spawn in randomly, and seemingly only one spawns at a time. Once you find one of the obelisks, you need to activate the seal of it with the corresponding ammo mod that is shown on the obelisk. So make sure if you can craft them to bring them all in, or at least some of them if you have them. But which obelisk will spawn? Well that part is random, but the locations are set, however there are a lot of them. So here's the majority of the locations that we know of. The car park near the football field in D5, the car park in Zaravan Suburbs E7, there's also multiple obelisk spawn locations in Tier 3, such as up to three different spawn locations in E4, and also on the hill of the second dark ether rift at F4 slash G4. There's also a location at the Hadika farm which is I5. So basically if you go to one of the locations and the obelisk isn't there, then you need to head to one of the other locations until you find one. A scorcher is going to be really important for you here. So you've located an obelisk, look at the ammo mod on the front of it, equip it to your weapon and activate the seal. This will then start the very familiar process of shooting zombies in the ringed area which steals their souls. Once you've killed enough zombies you'll get a reward rift which basically just gives you more ammo mods which you should take if you don't have them already. Doing this, if teammates helping you do not have the corresponding ammo mod, when they shoot zombies it will not send their souls. So if they don't have the ammo mod then you need to shoot the zombies alone. You then need to head to two more of the locations until you can find two more of the obelisks and carry out the same process. Completing this three times will then spawn the unstable rift which we marked on the map and this bit is really important. As I mentioned at the top of the video there's only one rift per game and anyone can take it. Even if they didn't contribute to the obelisks they can steal it so make sure you've got a scorcher to get there as quickly as possible. So you've accessed the unstable rift but what happens next? Well it's basically five rounds of round based zombies but it is super intense. At the end of each round a boss will spawn, but this is quite difficult because zombies will keep spawning until you kill the boss, so make sure to target him. The rewards available as you progress through the rounds are things like resetting all of your schematics, and if you complete the mode you'll also get a special zombies red glowing camo known as Mark of the Survivor, which is super cool. I will say it's really intense, so if you've got a bigger squad it will be more manageable, and if you have a dog then it's basically useless, as the zombies take it down within 30 seconds, so if you can bring lots of self revives in then do so. So go in as loaded up with juggernauts and other items as you can. And that's everything you need to know about the unstable rift. It's pretty easy to spawn the rift once you know what you're doing, and I suppose you could wait around and try and steal someone else's rift if you don't want to put the effort into the obelisks. Let me know in the comments if this video helped, and consider subbing to join our community. Take care guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.